Hello everybody and welcome to Prehistoric Kingdom where we have the release of Update 9. So if you've been following my channel and the Dev Diaries of Prehistoric Kingdom you'll know all the species coming into this update. So we're going to do a quick run through of the species, their skins and I guess the swimming behaviour as well while we're at it. Now there are a few other features that are coming in this update but I'm only going to go over the main ones. So let's start off with the fonts. So the fonts which are not currently working, unfortunately. I mean, the basic one works, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And Arid also works, for some reason. But yeah, you've got brand new fonts for each of the main themes of the game. And also these new signs for each of the dinosaurs. So, that's very cool. Now, if we move over to easily number one of the pack, Spinosaurus. An animal that really displays the swimming behaviour best but currently none are in the water but we can change that as we can place animals in water so i don't know if nigel's going to come in and speak here but yeah he okay i've already run dry of them now mudaborosaurus does not have any speaking lines just yet but that will be patched in a later well patch <laughs> but yeah looking at the spinosaurus it looks absolutely fantastic even on the inside <laughs> but yeah, this was a great surprise uh, for Update 9. And yeah, they were introducing swimming, so it made sense that they would add a species that really, uh, like, breathes a swimming dinosaur. I don't know what the word is, but like, just emphasizes swimming in a good way. But yeah, so Spinosaurus is here. And it's got a variety of new skins as well. So if we go into the nursery, we will find Harpy, uh, an Egyptian god of some kind, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, those, that's Harpy. We've also got Tarwerit, which I'm pretty sure is the hippo goddess that I've seen in Moon Knight. And same with Armit, the crocodilian goddess. But uh, yeah, looking absolutely fantastic here. And Sobek my favorite skin I really like this this look and while we're here we might as well look at the skins for all the other dinosaurs so we've got a blaze for Carcodonosaurus right there looking fantastic we've got Brackish looking like the chased by dinosaurs Giganotosaurus and Harlequin one of the most interesting looking skins I actually really like it nice skin and we find Mudabarosaurus with Billabong Looking really nice. I think this is my favourite. You got Opal. Looking really cool as well. And then Mookalite. Also looking mighty nice. And Aronosaurus. We have Tannin. Which these two are both the same. And Chert. Which we've not really seen much of actually. But this one seems to be sort of like an upgrade of a previous skin that was in the original mold of the game I, I could say and yes yeah, now we've got spectrum looking absolutely beautiful with those bright blues and greens yeah so let's have a look at our Mudabarosaurus who are just chilling in the water right now now they do have a special nose animation which I don't know if we'll be able to capture but yeah this is the billabong skin right here the beautiful male right there mm. Oh, hang on. One was making a noise. Maybe it's going to happen here. Come on, do it. Do it. Never mind then. But yeah, not much to say on Mudabarosaurus, honestly. It's the first Australian dinosaur for both Prehistoric Kingdom and was also the first for Jurassic World Evolution. So, yeah. It's just the go-to Australian dinosaur, really. Like, if you think of Australia, you think of dinosaurs, Mudabarosaurus is probably the first that comes to mind. Unless you're an Australovenator fan. But yeah, here's the Aranosaurus with the Spectrum skin looking... It might be yeah. difficult to imagine having to haul around such an impressive structure on your back. But the spines of Ornithischian dinosaurs were stiff and strong thanks to a crisscrossing lattice that supported their vertebrae made out of ossified tendons. Literally, tendons that turned into bone. Interesting. 
So they're somewhat lighter, I would gather. Yeah, it's interesting that. Yeah, Rhinosaurus is a very nice animal to add to your parks, and yeah, I don't really have much else to say on it either. But it's also a classic African dinosaur like Spinosaurus. And our next one, and our final creature, Carcharodontosaurus, with his beautiful Operation Genesis inspired skin. Yeah, I've been spending some time with the Carcharodontosaurus, and now he really likes to roar. But yeah, I say an Operation Genesis inspired skin because got the darker hues on the back. Oh, hello, you're rolling. <laughs> You are very similar to the Tarbosaurus that we just got in Jurassic World Evolution 2. You like to roll around like a puppy. But for those who have played Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, you'll see what I mean on it. But um, for those who haven't, darker skin and red eyebrows, basically. And yeah, here we go with Alia with a cinematic shot. Yeah, so all the dinosaurs look fantastic as always in the beautiful new grassland biome. Okay, the grass is looking a bit strange there, but here we go, that's a nice shot. And you can see the walls of the crater in the background. I love this cinematic camera, it really, really, really is good. I love it. Oh. No wonder they can get such good screenshots. Oh, and they're going through each other, there we go. But yeah. It, that is all I have for update 9 right now, although I should probably show you a bit more of the swimming, I guess. There we go, Spinosaurus going for a bit of a swim here with Chemo. Yeah, that looks fantastic. I, I really like this, this update. Oh, and he's coming out of the water. Never mind. Well, we'll end it here with Spinosaurus. And yeah, if you like the features that have been introduced in update 9, Leave your comments down below, leave a like if you enjoyed this brief video, and subscribe for more. Prehistoric Kingdom, Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution 2, whatever it is, you'll see it here on the channel. As for now, bye bye.